Most solopreneurs don't fail because of bad ideas. They fail because they have no systems to execute. Today, I'm showing you how to build a launch plan for your digital product visually on a single canvas using a free Apple app called Freeform. You'll learn how to turn your ideas into income without needing Notion, Canva, or a 10 tab planning setup. Whether you're creating a course, launching a toolkit, or finally getting that digital product out of your head, this is a system I wish I had sooner. First, let's open Freeform and create a new board. All right, so we're gonna open Freeform. So I'm gonna tap on Freeform here. Next thing I'm going to do, I am going to hit on the new board icon. To the top, I'm gonna give it a name because I wanna have um, a naming convention and I'm, easy, I'm able to identify the board very easily. So where I have on title to the top right, I'm going to actually tap there and I'm going to hit on rename and I'm going to call this digital product launch. I recommend naming your board something like digital product launch hub. This is where everything is going to live. Freeform gives you an infinite space, so you're going to divide this canvas into three core sections, ideas, plan, and launch. You can do this using simple shapes or even sticky notes. So let's build it out. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create the three sections. I'm going to hit on the double tap. I'm going to actually put in a emoji. I'm going to hit this and I'm going to call this ideas. I'm going to tap away from this and you're going to see my I'm using my pencil and my magic keyboard as well. I'm going to put this in this section. And the next thing I'm going to do is just, if I tap here, notice I can bold. I can also uh, change the size if I would like. I want it to be bigger or smaller. In this case, because it's a big area, I'm going to put this. And then I can either copy the style. Um, so there are other options that I can do. I can add to playground, cut, duplicate. So I'm going to tap on duplicate and I'm going to drag this to another area, right? I'm going to give this some space, come over and I'm going to double tap and I'm going to actually call this plan, but I'm going to change the icon, right? So I'm going to call this plan and then I'm going to hit on duplicate again, drag this over to another area and notice these yellow lines that are actually appearing is telling me I'm in alignment with the other so that I can see, I am going to change the icon, right? And I'm going to call this launch. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this a little longer. If I zoom out, there are my three sections, ideas, plan, and launch. And again, I can space this out even more if I need the extra space. This is an infinite canvas, so you can go right ahead and do this um, again you can zoom to fit all right it will show you exactly the three sections all right if i want to add to this too i can um, activate my pen tool i can come over and turn on my highlight if you tap and hold on any of these different tools it gives you more options so you can increase the size and even the opacity of the color you can do so so in this case i can do Something like this, if I want to like jazz it up, just to have an idea, just to add color, or I can even turn this off and maybe I could have added a shape and do the same thing by adding text, send this to the back and this can come over the shape and I can size it. If I want, I can duplicate the same size. If I want to keep that same proportion, then I'm going to click on the three dots and send to the back and maybe just change out the color. I may want the to be pink. I'm going to duplicate again. So you can be super creative with this. So that is using your different shapes and different tools. Start by brain dumping. I'm going to use sticky notes and boxes to jot down who this product is for, what problems it solves, what transformation it offers, what makes it different, if there's any bonus modules or lead magnets or additional resources, I'm going to put them all on the canvas. Freeform is great here because it's unstructured on purpose. No structure actually means 
full creative freedom. I may actually have an idea for a digital product. So in this area here, I'm going to give more details about my product idea. What I can do, I can actually create connectors. I'm going to hit on connectors on. So if I tap on this icon, I can drag this over. This is basically my flow, All right? So in the ID section, I need to give all the necessary details, right? So I may actually use sticky notes in this instance. So I can double tap and I can say, okay, who is the target audience? Right? I can put this as a sticky note. I can duplicate it. And what problem does my product solve? So these are some questions that I need to answer and I'm doing all of this in the ID section. And in this case, because I use my pencil a lot, it's going to be more applicable for me to just have those major headings. And then I can fill in the information below that. Now we move to the plan section. This is where I outline the actual product. I like to break it into modules or chapters using shapes with titles. Then I'll connect them with arrows. I'll also drag in any references like PDFs, screenshots from Pinterest, or even audio notes that I would have recorded in voice memos. You can even drop in a mini calendar here to help you with your timeline or even your deadlines as to when you want to execute your ideas. The idea is it's all visible. You're building your launch as a visual map, not a document buried in a ton of folders. So as I'm planning out this digital product, I'm going to play around with different shapes. So in this case, it I have a ton of different shapes that I can work with. So for example, I'm going to use like a flow chart to plan this. This is going to represent my automated flow. This is going to actually represent, and I'm going to put in a text here. So just double tap. This is where my landing page and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to increase that so I can see. I may want to change out the color so I'm like a lighter color. Because I have my connectors on, I'm going to leave it. So once I start to say, okay, what is that experience I'm actually looking for with regards from persons landing on that landing page to getting my digital product. So I may actually go for um, a checkout page. So maybe they put in their information and all their details. Now I can search and maybe I can say I'm looking for a card. So it takes them to uh, a checkout page. So I'm going to literally just do this and I'm going to link it back to this one. All right, check up or sign out. And then the next thing is to have a email. So they're going to get an email. So this is me actually creating my automated flow. This is like my automated flow. I start fleshing out the idea. So it's not only an idea. Now, what does that flow actually look like? Um, inside of my planning section as well. And again, I can extend this because over time, this can become a little bit more too much. So I'm going to just extend this over here so I can have more space in plan. So what my automated flow looks like, if I have any references, maybe an audio recording or so forth, what I can simply do, and this is where the windowing feature comes in. I, I can go over to voice memos. If there's any voice memo that I may have recorded, I can click and I can bring it in here. And maybe this is a voice memo. I would have been outlining about this product so I can reference it here. Um, if I want to bring in a photo or capture anything, a link, scan documents, choose a file. Let's say, for example, I may have the actual digital product here. Um, I've already created it. So this is the PDF version of it. This is my um, thoughts and how I re actually record it. So different, you can bring in so many different things. The other thing that you can do, so I'm going to bring my calendar. I'm going to open up my calendar for, as an example. And also I am going to open notes, all right? And I may want to bring this particular note in so I can also add this and it's going to actually drop in all my different things within that notes. So if it was a specific thing, I can just put in, if it was a screenshot, 
I can put in. Anything that was in that note is going to actually put it in here. I can bring in my calendar. Let's say, for example, okay, I'm giving myself until the 30th to get this done. So I might say, okay, my digital product, digital product launch day is this day. And I want to have a visual of this on my board. So I'm going to literally go over into launch, make this smaller. So you guys are seeing the windowing system in full effect here. I can literally drag this in here. So I know that my digital launch is happening on the 30th and I want to have this visually being supported and shown here. Lastly, let's prep the launch. This is where I drop in the launch email ideas, the sales page drafts, the headlines, all the Instagram or social media content hooks, maybe a Kung Dung visuals or lead magnet graphics, whatever those graphics actually look like. I put it all on the launch that I need to prepare to put this particular digital product out in the open. You can even create a mini launch timeline with dates or events. I use freeform scenes to navigate between my section. It's like creating a clickable mini site for my brain. All right. So in launch, you see that I actually put in the calendar. So this is where I know this is my launch date. I may have additional assets that I need to use in order to launch this product out. So I can go in here and I can choose my photos and videos. If it's a specific graphic that I need, um, for the launch, I'm going to put it in here. Um, as an example, so I'm just dragging in, just showing you the options that you have. If you've created a landing page and you want to have access to that site, um, you can add the link here. So I'm just going to use this as an example. You can copy and paste your links in here. All right. So this is what the link would actually look like if we bring it in. If there's any mock-up or so, you can bring all your different assets in here as well. Uh, for example, if you do want to bring in a video, let's say you created a launch video and you want to show that video, you can put it on your board. So this is so great because you can literally plan everything in free form. And again, there's so many different use cases of free form that you can actually use with regards to bringing it out. The actual looks like, and this is at its simplest, just to show you the possibilities of free form. One of the other things I love about free form is creating my own navigation system for my brain. If this is going to be your central hub to bring your ideas to launch, it can become overwhelming at times, especially if you are zooming in and zooming out, moving from one section to the other can become a bit overwhelming. So what Apple did with free form is give you the option to create a navigation navigation system. So if you look to the bottom right here, where you see this star is where you're going to create your scenes. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to hit on this icon here and I'm going to click on add scene. It's going to take a snapshot and then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do the same thing Add scene. And then I'm going to go over here, tap on it and add scene. All right. Now I have three scenes with three different areas here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename each of these scenes. So I'm going to tip, click on the three dots. I'm going to click on rename scene and I'm going to call this ideas. I'm going to do the same for the other two. So those are my three scenes. Now here is the beautiful thing about it. If this board becomes super, super big and I keep adding more ideas and planning them and launching them. And as the, again, the canvas is so infinite that as you add, it becomes even more and it can become a bit overwhelming, especially if you want to find something. This is how you can add scenes or you can actually create scenes based on the products that you have created. If you tap on edit, it also allows you to move around the areas and you can also delete your scene. You can also print your scenes or export your scenes as a PDF as well. So if I want to move back from launch and I want to move to the idea section, all I simply do is tap on ideas and it's going to move to the ideas section. I can also use the arrows to the bottom to move me from one scene 
to the other. Some bonus things that I love that you can paste in links or inspirations from Safari. You can add your voice memos for those shower ideas or on the go ideas. You can export the board as a PDF to share. And of course, everything syncs between your iPad, your iPhone, and your Mac. So I can start the rough sketch on my iPad. I can go to my Mac and have more capabilities of my mouse and my keyboard. Or if I want to have a review or just look over certain things that I have captured over the last few days, I can pick it up on my iPhone. All within the Apple ecosystem and I love it. So if I want to export all of this out and I may want to share it with a team member, I want or I want to have collaborators on this board. I'm maybe working with a few other people and they are also Apple users. The first thing is that I can literally export this as a PDF. So I can export the board or the scenes that I want to export the board, right? And it's going to ask me to save it or I can copy it or I can send it to my computer. I'm going to hit on save to files and I'm going to tap on save. I can hit on the share icon to the top here and I can choose if I want to send a copy or collaborate. So I'm going to hit on collaborate and then I can literally send this off. And the good thing about it, because if that user is in the Apple ecosystem is showing that I'm actually sharing it here, I can see their changes live. And I can, we can be on the phone, we can be on FaceTime and we can literally be updating this board and adding to it. And I love the collaboration aspect all within us inside of an ecosystem. So now you've got a complete board from idea to plan to launch. This is a game changer for visual thinkers and overwhelmed solopreneurs. If this helped you see your next launch more clearly, drop a thumbs up and a comment down below and let me know how you plan to use Freeform for your next launch. I'll see you in the next one where we make tech work for us and not against us.